Welcome back to the Angry Man Podcast with Jason and Greg. So in several interviews that I've seen here over the last week, Gary Russell Jr. has given his opinion on the Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford fight, Jay. And I thought it was an interesting take. It's something that is very similar to my thoughts on the fight. Um, so, of course, and I want to preface everything here because we know that in the past, Gary Russell Jr. has had some beef with Terrence Crawford. Now, <clears throat> he made it clear that this is just his opinion. He and Terrence Crawford, whatever beef they had several years ago, that's in the past. He doesn't think about that. They're now both grown men. This is just his personal opinion. Now, he talked about the skill set of both Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. He believes that Terrence is the better boxer. He believes that Terrence is the better athlete. He feels that Terrence is sometimes defensively irresponsible. And he doesn't necessarily agree that Terrence Crawford is the smarter fighter, right? Doesn't necessarily agree that his IQ is at that level. He believes that if Terrence Crawford is in 15 round shape, Jay, that he can win this fight because he believes that he can get out to a lead and then he can he can stick to that. He will be able to hold Errol off in the second half of the fight to ultimately get a decision. Um, He feels like it's kind of similar to the Canelo Alvarez versus Caleb Plant. He felt like Caleb needed to be in 15 round shape in order to beat Canelo. Um, I guess it would also be similar to Caleb Plant versus uh, Benavidez, right? Needed to be in that level yeah. of shape in order to hold on to that lead. Um, so I get his thoughts on that, but he believes that what's going to eventually happen is that around six, seven, eight, uh, arrows going to start walking his ass down like Jason dropping them dumbbells on his ass. And that is a quote. That is a quote from exactly. And it's interesting because I like that analogy because when you think about those 1980 horror movies, you will see one of those teenagers running in the woods, Jay. And they're running as fast as they can. And it just looks like Jason is just slow motion walking. And before you know it, they turn around and Jason's right up on them, Right. And I believe that there's potential for this to possibly happen in this fight with Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford just because of the style. I always thought that Terrence Crawford more than likely because of his ability to box from outside would get a lead. I'm not as confident that that's going to happen anymore because I think Errol is just as rangy as Terrence and a little bit taller so Errol will be able to hit from out or connect from outside such as Terrence will be and because of that Terrence may not be able to outbox him as easily from the outside when you got a guy with a jab now is there ways to take away the jab absolutely we saw Carol Brook take away the jab uh, to some extent trying to jab or actually jabbing over the jab you know that was several years ago Errol has grown as a fighter are there other ways that Terrence Crawford can possibly take away that jab? Sure, we'll see if he can. But I'm pretty sure that Errol has something in the bag or a trick up his sleeve to help offset anything Terrence Crawford does relative to trying to take away the jab. So we'll see how that all plays out. But I thought it was interesting, man, that analogy, walking him down like Jason. That is exactly what Errol Spence does. I think he has other tools in his tool belt that he can actually implement in this fight. But eventually, I think he starts to walk him down and throw hard shots constantly to start to cause serious damage to Terrence Crawford. Jay, what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, I can agree definitely with the way Spence's style is. I don't agree that Terrence would just jump out to a lead just because Terrence is a slow starter himself. You know, Spence comes out with the same constant movement, the same mm -hmm. constant work rate, you know, he, he changes up a little bit, but he comes with the same. He's constant. He's consistent with it, you know, mm -hmm. and that you can't be a slow starter because he's going to bag those couple of rounds already. And he's already getting his work rate up. I don't know if Bud can allow that to happen. You know, I still have Spence winning this fight um, mid to late round of my stoppage by accumulation. It's going to be hard. I don't think it's just going to be a cakewalk for him where he's just going to go in and just Drop them, drop them things on him whenever he wants or however he wants. He's gonna have to earn it, you know. Same thing as but with but if but were to pull this out, um, but yeah, I think it's very similar to what Gary Russell said. You know, he's just gonna keep stalking them, catching them, just taking his time and breaking them down. You know, after a while, he's going, but it's just gonna get to a point where oh, uh oh, I don't know what to do anymore at this point in time. <laughs> Spence is gonna accumulate, the accumulation is gonna be too much, I think, for him. But the analogy is correct. I agree. But it's definitely more athletic. 
a better boxer, probably by a slight, slight edge for sure. Um, if you're going to go that route, but he, I think he's definitely more athletic. And even Spence said, but it's probably the better athlete as well. So I mean, I, I agree with both of those assessments there. I just don't agree that I don't think Butts going to be in lead, and Spence is going to come back. I think Spence is probably going to have that lead and just continuously kind of pull away until it stopped. <sighs> I get the slow starter argument. I think I'm going to be on the other side of the fence on this one. I just think that Terrence is going to – I think Terrence, because of the style, I think, and the counterpunch style, I think Arrow's going to come out. I think Arrow's eventually going to make it a war. Um, but I don't think it's going to start off that way. I think the fight's going to be tactical, and I think that's going to play into Terrence Crawford's hands um, with an outside fight and being a better counterpuncher. But, again, with the stick and the fact that I believe Arrow will be able to reach Terrence from the same distance that Terrence will be able to reach Arrow – I'm not exactly as confident in that prediction in terms of Terrence getting out to a a, a good lead. Uh, he might have a lead, but it won't. I don't think it'll, you know, after six, it might be four two or something like that. Um, or it might be even. I don't know. But um, I think on uh, I think during the course of those first six rounds, I think Terrence Crawford is going to we're going to see that Terrence is almost going to be like to me. I don't know if you remember this, but Oscar De La Hoya versus uh, Shane Mosley, the second fight. Oscar mm -hmm. was doing a lot of movement. Oscar was doing a lot of boxing. A lot of people didn't realize, man, Shane was landing some hard shots, especially the ones to the body. And you could see that they were clearly affecting Oscar. Toward the end, Shane was landing some of those shots, man. Oscar was, like, bending over, man, like, in a ball, like, when, when Shane was landing some of those shots. So um, I think it's going to be something like that where – the accumulation will start to will start to take toll to take a toll on Terrence. I'm not saying Terrence is going to get knocked out because it's possible that the fight could still go to the cars even with because I think Terrence do got dog in him do, enough dog in him. To, oh, he definitely does to to um to to weather the storm. But I believe that Errol is gonna is gonna bring the heat on the second half of the fight. So you guys tell us what you think in the comments section. Will Errol Spence walk? Terrence Crawford down like he's Jason Voorhees, or 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 will uh, or will Arrow or will Terrence Crawford find a way to counter and offset that? Tell us what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to hate, like, comment, and subscribe. This is the Angry Man Podcast, M Sports Media, and we are out.